Hey everyone, welcome back to Primetime. And in this episode number three, we're going to discuss the very important question, is continuing to work out and stay healthy a selfish or selfless move as we continue to get older? So this is gonna be primarily targeted towards the middle-aged population, but you could take this merit and apply it throughout any age or continuum. So as we get older, we start to have to become more of a supportive role for our family members, and we have to bring the best to the table. Whether we need to be strong picking up the kid, running around playing with them, or even as we get older and we have to take care of our parents. Uh, parents, you know, at that time are much even heavier than our kids. And we have to be strong from a mentality perspective because we're usually running businesses or working a full-time job, handling stressors there, and then we need to bring the best to the table at home, um, whether you're taking care of your parents or yourself or even your kids. So is that being selfish or selfless if you're taking time, blocking time out of the day to make sure that you can get a workout despite having all of those responsibilities? I think it is the most selfless thing you can do at that point in time, and I'm gonna tell you why. When you go to work out or do whatever it is that drives you, it's gonna be incredibly rewarding from not only a physicality perspective, but from a mental and psychological perspective. You're gonna get rid of those stressors. You're gonna think about what you need to think about at the gym. You're gonna work it out. When you come home, you're going to be able to offer your family everything you need, you're gonna be more patient, your brain's actually gonna be a little bit more productive, having continued, continued to work out, and you're gonna be able to handle stressors better throughout your full day, whether it's taking care of the kids at the morning or your parents, going to work, handling stressors, and taking care of yourself throughout that, throughout that full day. So just think about that for a second. Blocking time out, even though you're incredibly busy, is actually incredibly selfless. And think about it as well too, as your kids continue to get older and older and older, don't you wanna keep up with them, run around, sprint with them, play sports with them, sit at a soccer game for eight hours and be okay? I mean, these are little things that we may not think about during the acute time frame where we're saying, you know what, we're too busy, I've got this and that going on, I'm not gonna block out of time. As those times that you didn't block, block out continue to add up, you're losing and losing and losing the war on being able to stay active, stay fit, and bring the best to the table. I keep saying that because that's really what it's all about. Being able to handle stressors, you're going to be the problem solver at work, you're going to be the problem solver at home, and you have to be the problem solver for yourself in order to continue to help your family thrive. So, I strongly suggest, no matter how busy you are, who you are taking care of, or how many of your people are taking care of, find a way to, to communicate to your loved one if that's what it takes, work out a game plan, you both need to be really flexible, and you need to find a way to make it happen. Find a way to work out, to, to do whatever it is that you wanna do, whether it is running or swimming or play tennis. Find your thing, communicate it, and be flexible and make it work and you will absolutely notice your ability to bring more to the table, to be happier, to be more stress-free, to be able to handle stressors better. And you'll enjoy the reward of continuing to keep up with your kids as they get older, so you can be that rock star grandma and grandpa who's running around with them, playing wiffle ball, or, or swimming in the pool with them, being as active as ever, not even thinking about or worrying about, oh no, I wonder if my shoulder's gonna be able to handle that throw, or I wonder if my knee's gonna be able to handle that. Isn't that worth it? Absolutely. It starts now though, and again, I'm right now speaking to the middle-aged population. It starts now when you're incredibly busy, and I know we're building up a lot in our foundations. We have to block out time now, make it worth it, so you can expect and receive that reward throughout your entire life, including now. I'm really passionate about that, because I see so many middle-aged families missing out on this prime opportunity. So. This was a great episode. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this was something I'm really passionate about. And uh, yeah, this was awesome. Thanks guys for tuning in. We'll talk to you later.